What up guys, I'm Phasma Jack, and this is Mental Memorial, part 6, I honestly don't know, sorry that sounded a bit loud then, oh no, it should all be good, so we're on floor 2, why am I on floor 2, oh because I got the secure, have I ever been here before, no, I swear, oh no that was first floor and then basement, Okay, so I haven't explored the horrors of this place yet. But anyway, I want to say I'm really sorry that it's taken me so long to get another video out in a while. I want you to understand, it's actually because when I have work, I do a 10 hour shift and when I get home, my parents are in bed, so... so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, this is really loud in my ear. But, um... Yeah, I really don't have time to record once I get back from work. And obviously I want to do them kind of when it gets dark in the evening. Fuck. So, I'm really sorry about that. And I'll be trying to, every free day I have, I will do a recording. From now on, I promise. Oh, lights are already on. We don't need to turn the lights on. Save! Yay! It's pretty good it saves every time you load a new area anyway, because... Having to find a save point every time I wanted to save wouldn't be very practical. Hey, this one's already part open. Ah, oh, shit, it's a bathroom. Checking. Man, these things are dirty as fuck. People can't be washing their hands in this. Hey, let me over. Dead guy, some blood. A leg. Oh, some fingers next to her. Yeah. Today we were, we have been testing legs in the toxic water. The tests were a great success. We found out that this toxic liquid separates the flesh from the bone in less than 20 seconds. We still have to do more tests, but this liquid looks dangerous, but helpful for removing flesh much quicker than by hand. More tests will follow soon when the body parts of Brian D have arrived. Aren't I Brian? Why would... But I'm still alive! What was that? The sensor seems to be broken. If I can find a screwdriver, I could fix it. Oh, so it won't open until I find a screwdriver. Okay, okay. What's my battery like? No, it's fine. A lot of these rooms sure seem to be empty. But I, I won't complain, because it's all part of making something. I should have been timing. I got a pretty rough idea. Hey. Oh, okay. You can't even touch that one. Yeah, this doesn't look good. I don't... Oh, I hate the way it does that. Everything fades to black as soon as your torch turns out. I'm actually really cold right now. I'd, well, I'd be hot. I got the security card for that. Okay, I'm not gonna go in there yet. I wanna explore. Luck. Balls. I, I do enjoy exploring in a lot of custom stories. You gotta check everything. Although a lot of these rooms sure seem to be a little bit pointless, but I'm not gonna complain. I, oh, uh, God, this doesn't look good. Rooms that are always put in this way are never great. Hey, I got the screwdriver. Is there something else in here? I don't know. I guess not. No. Don't stop blinking. Okay, so I've got to fix that thing. I can also go in here, so I might as well. Boop! It's locked. Bull! It's open! You guys ready? Oh, okay. The lock's not on properly, but it won't open anyway. I just want to let my battery recharge a sec. <laughs> oh, 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 no! 
Can I move? Hey, you don't be. Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? Are you searching for those numbers? Do you? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Can you please my dog? He needs food. He didn't eat for days now. I'm there might be meat around here somewhere, I guess. to remove the flesh somehow. When you come back with a bone, I'll give you the key for the gate over there. Oh, he's a friendly monster. Although he looks fucking horrible and disfigured. I don't know if my guy's just going crazy or what. Nine? You know, I actually, I really don't like the number nine mainly because um, I don't know what relevance that has but um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the song by the Beatles um, I can't I think it's called Revolutionary 9 or something like that or something along those lines but the songs just the door is locked. It, it, I don't know it's it's like demonic somehow if you've ever listened to it it's really creepy to listen to for a song by the Beatles it's really messed up it's like not a proper song it's literally like I don't know, stuff they took off the radio and just put it in a random order and it's like one of those songs where it just constantly the whole thing is just like going number nine number nine and it's just doing that for ages and it's really fucking creepy probably one of the most creepiest things I've listened to honestly it, and it gets worse as you go on with it okay so that's not the fluid I was looking for alright how do I how do I repair? How do I repair? Can I jump up to the sensor? Oh, okay, that was pretty simple. Sweet. Oh, this place is huge. I didn't even get a map. Ah, my hand's hurting my head. Don't even know what that says. looks good in here but yeah guys hopefully I'll be doing um I got tomorrow off as well so I will do another video then hopefully more than one sorry about these graphics again it's because I haven't turned them up loads and kind of light bulb what do I do with them I might as well not waste my light while I'm in here anything in here oh wait those are but those, those are my health potions Oh, you're joking. Where's this stuff I'm looking for? His dog wants a... Oh, there we go. There's some health. What's up with this window? Whoa! Were you... Were you there a second ago? I don't like this doctor guy, he doesn't look great. Something about his face seems a bit stretched. What? You lock? Okay, you don't lock. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... Fuck. We heard the accident on the first floor, so we tried to escape to the second floor, but this door is broken. She saw us. She heard us screaming. She just let us be. Oh, someone saw them and didn't help them out. That goddamn doctor guy pops up fucking everywhere. I don't like the looks of this. This looks bad. Oh great, a bath overflowing. I just had a jump scare. There's meant to be that weird stuff. What? Why do I have a first aid kit, a medical box, and help it? I don't know about you, but that seems like maybe it's going a bit far. Ah, oh, balls. Out of order. 
Okay, so I suppose... I don't know. i go down this way now. Please don't lag. Guys, I noticed that some of my videos do lag a little bit. It's really not my fault. It's because of my PC. I wish I had a better one. And I will get one when possible. Or get a better graphics card. Hey there, computer. There's nothing here. I can't even open these drawers. Well, I could open that one. Okay. So I think that's my problem with mods like this is that when so many rooms are empty and it requires such high graphics levels to look proper, really bugs me a little bit. But apart from that, so far this one has been pretty fun. Lots of jump scares and stuff, you know. Found meat. Oh, that's the... Okay, okay. So now I just need to acid it somehow. If I knew where to find it. I just see something back there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking sh dark. Turn the lights on. Why does he turn up everywhere? Oh, that's not something I can pick. Hey, what's this? Another first aid kit. Half the jump scares seem to all be based around that doctor. Did I murder him? I think I might have murdered him. And that's part of the story. I thought, I thought I saw something in here. Nope. I'm going crazy. Oh, my hat. Sorry, guys. This doesn't usually happen, but sometimes when I tie back my hair, I do it a bit too tight, and it really does absolutely just pull on my scalp the whole time. It's not a good feeling. Why do half these doors not open the whole way? there was anything in there. Okay. Fine. Where do I find this acidic stuff so his dog can have a bone? Wait, I mean, am I sure it wasn't this way? It's locked. What else do I have? A bone with rotten flesh. The dog won't want rotten flesh, will he? Where is this acidic stuff that I can't seem to find? Is it this? No, there's nothing you can do with that. Out of order. I think I already pressed that. I'm almost out of time too, so... I'm honestly going to try and do this as fast as possible. So I want to get a move on with this one and kind of move on to other stuff. Yeah, it was that. Okay, sweet. Give me the bone. Now where? Uh, this way? Close that, because I don't trust it. I think it's mainly because of these things like this, objects that block your view, which is the reason for most of the jump scares in this one. It was down this way, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, right, it was right in here. Hey, dude. What the fuck was that? Why did the door close? I don't think that was part of the agreement. Hey there. Got you that bone. Oh, thank you, stranger. That was very kind of you. Now take this key, and please be careful. I'm sorry I'm talking over him, but it's honestly because you really can't hear what he's saying that much. Oh, cheers, bud. You? People misjudge you, you know? Simply because you look very... Number nine. What is it with number nine? Why nine? Thanks for the, uh, way in. Let my eyes adjust. 
Hey, there's a red thing up there. I wonder what that is. Zero. Okay, blue nine, red zero. This is going to be some part of a code, I know it. Nothing's going to happen. Okay, maybe nothing does happen. Recently, the code for the numpad has been changed. Code for numpad on the... Oh, on the ground floor! There have been several patients that found out the old code and made quite a mess in the morgue. Recently, the lab has found out that some of the patients are having trouble seeing bright colours. So we made a colour code like this. One yellow, two blue, three red, four pink. The numpad has a four digit code and accept and accept button must be entered after. If you press the wrong code, just press accept or cancel and it will refresh the numpad. I hope this will be understandable for all employees. So what? Then what's the point in those other numbers that are around? I don't get it. What purpose would they have? Why would there be stuff like a red zero? Thanks again. And a, a blue nine. So, I think that's everything. I think we can leave. Go back down to floor zero. I think that's all I got time for today, guys. Sorry. I know it seems like I've been playing this a lot recently, but really I am gonna. Uh, I need. I just need to really find someone else to play. Actually, if, if anyone knows anything who watches this, honestly, recommend it. Find any horror game or something that you know would be really good as a let's play. Let me know, and I'll do it. I'm playing on planning. I'm playing Slender Tubby soon as well. I'm just waiting for a friend to come over at some point so we can do co-op on that bitch and get it going. Ground floor and it just lags like crazy almost. My frame rate has just dropped entirely. Sorry about that, guys. Actually, I don't. I don't know the map for this place. I can't remember. Anyway. Cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did, like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I can make them more. Sorry about the long wait again. But see you guys. Peace.